entrance to the nearest staircase. Let's open this up. Let's hope there's something useful. Shakes, fever, chills. Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we gotta kick the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're gonna have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. Let's see what we got here.
storage room. Just a bit further. I'm doing it. No! Did my oh, body fuck, tell you? Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again! Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinnamoy. What the hell is wrong with you? Why don't you do something? Why won't anyone help him? You fucking do! You can't just let him die out there! He saved your life! You owe him your life! You going out there? Are you nuts? If you're not gonna help him, get the hell out of the way! You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Don't let him die! Alright. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it! Three! one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. We didn't think you were gonna make it. You kill them all? Feeling better. Thanks to you. I didn't see you out there. Name's John Cinnamoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but... <laughs> Those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are, or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? No thanks to you. How can I say no? Good. 
First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but I don't mean you can't die. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Yep. Ah, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I going to go? It's in the Book of Revelations. You killed Thank God we found you. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My wife. My, my dad. Oh, fuck. My own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice.
is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banohi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear-cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banohi billions. I've been told that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will stop at nothing to protect their criminal lives. As a precaution, I will be holding a trail of recordings wherever I go, so that if something were to happen to me, the truth would still be told. And if I'm, I'm good now you? to meet with an informant who I believe could rip the lid off of this investigation. Got here. <gasps> Looking like a motherfucking postcard. You're immune to this, but we gotta take advantage of that. You did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I will need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? 
I'm gonna try. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. If you hadn't come along, you, you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the water sports rental kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. Hell yeah. There's a table inside you can use to repair your weapons. Fuck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Flight 1012. All engines are out. Repeat, all engines are... Open this up. job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. Come over here. I've got a 
a job for you. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out anytime you want. Deal? How can I say no? Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me.
Whoa, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running. Nice job, mate. We're safe thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. We got here. before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Dominic, this piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? Yeah. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can.
Your help. I don't understand any of this. Anything good in here? Please, please, my husband. He's bleeding. Can you help us? Come closer. Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell. When I saw that broke down car, part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't, I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. <laughs> You gotta believe me, but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit, I think I got whatever he had, or rabies, I don't know, fuck. Who the hell knows? But can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I don't want to bloody hurt her. I can do that. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in. What is happening here?
There are people living in the lighthouse. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Sinamoy, you looked Thank like... you. Jesus. Anyway, Can you check on my husband? I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see my wife and kick him. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure I'll be glad to see you're still alive. Where the hell did I put that? It's got to be around here somewhere. What's in here? James will probably want to talk to you first. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Holy shit, you're alive? I don't fucking believe this. Cinnamoy was right. I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. I'm up for it. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? I'm approaching the location where I'm to meet my informant. I must say, everything seems oddly quiet and deserted here. I'm a little concerned that my informant has been exposed. I hope he's all right. The door appears to be ajar. Mr. Anomo? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. There's, uh, there's blood everywhere. I don't see a body, though. Mr. Anomo? <laughs> what the hell? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God! Whoever that was, I think I just killed her. Bashed her head in with a fucking lamp. She was out of her mind. She tried to bite me for Christ's sake. She must have been 70 years old. Someone else is back there. I gotta... I gotta get out of here. Unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that the help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Yeah, okay. Good. And when help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? How can I say no? Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. Stephen is looking for me? Oh, I wish he had come with us. I'm worried about him. Could you... Could you please tell him that, if you see him? That I miss him and, and I wish he were here with me right now. What the 
hell? We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two Transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. I can do that. All right, good. The Transformers are in the northern part of the Gold Bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. I'm Darwin, by the way. Let's see what we got.
running like a dream. This ride is yours whenever you need it. You don't want to pass up anything useful. I heard this scourge came from outer space. Came down on a goddamn meteor. I heard this scourge came from outer space. Can some... Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think he can help me break the bloody thing down? I'm here. I appreciate it. Go on, then. Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. Okay, what the hell? Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. We're bloody walking corpses. I'm telling you, it couldn't have been him. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Yep. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. You found her? They're still here. Fuck it then, I'm out of here. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. 
It's in Bungalow 6 in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? Yeah. Thank you. Please be careful. I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. I'm up for it. Oh. Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. Oh, thank God. Thank you! Oh, thank God! Thank you! Oh, thank God! Thank you! Oh, 
thank God. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank God! Thank you! I'm safe in here. The monsters can't get me. I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Will you find my teddy bear? Yeah. The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. You find anything?
Got here. Blood. Blood everywhere. Soaking Come into out, everything. Come out, you coward! So much blood. <gasps> and no bloody end to it. for a second. Amigos! Hola! Okay, listen, there's this tall hombre that owes me some money. Mucho dinero. But he came down with whatever this infection is and paid me what he owes me in exactly his first priority. I'm thinking his money's inside his bungalow. But I need the key to get in there. It's not like the poor hijo that puta needs it anymore. Hey, listen, if you get me the key, we'll split the cash. Deal? Yeah. Good, good. Listen, he's hard to miss. Very tall. And I'm pretty sure I saw him at the bar. Get back here as soon as you have the key, all right?
it is. Let's hope there's something useful.
Keep moving, amigos! That's it! Yes! <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigos! All right, here's your cut. Amigos, I hear there are more survivors at the lifeguard tower. Can you help me get there? If you do, I'll give you this weapon. Promise. One shot takes down a mob of those pendejos. Yeah. Gracias. We better go, huh? Rápido.
¡Rápido! ¡Rápido! Gracias. Hey, I always remember my amigos. You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved Anne's. Thank you. I heard the skirt. out of space. <laughs> Let's open this up. My husband gave it to me for our anniversary. <laughs> To find anything? Teddy! Where have you been? You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. My 
muscles are starting to cramp up. I'm so sorry, Tim. I'm so sorry. You weren't you. I didn't know what else to do. You don't want to pass up anything useful. Jesus Christ. Timmy.
I'm so sorry, Tim. I'm so sorry. You weren't you. I didn't know what else to do. Do that. Good. Look, you better go. He's one at a time.
Got here. my insulin? Wait, you're not my brother? He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here.
Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other Transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! There's something useful.
Everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. I'm good in here. I heard this skirt. Which came from outer space. so much. Here's the reward I promised. Thank you.
down on a goddamn meteor. Maybe there's something in here. Food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. Find me some food and I'll give you whatever I have. I'm gonna try. Go. Hurry, see what you can find. Thank you. Thanks. That's perfect. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. I need food. I want our house, you... That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. Okay. If Marcus said it's gonna work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you. <laughs> Getting good at this. I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Okay. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here.
I saw what you did for us, and I won't forget it. The lighthouse is back online, but we need to cover all our bases. A few of us started arranging a huge help sign out in the clearing nearby, when we were chased off by those fucking things. Now, everyone's too scared to go back out there, but if you could finish the sign for us, I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? Yeah. All right, good, but uh, do me a favor. Be careful out there. All those passengers, if they're alive, they'll need our... Nice. Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. Thanks. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. People have been asking for you, looking for help. Hunt them down, see what they need. Jumbo jet, not a needle in a haystack. You find anything? It don't want to pass up anything useful. Where the hell did I put that? Whoa! Don't be sneaking up on people. I could have blown your bloody head off.
beaten up on people. Blown your bloody head off. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Anything good in here? It's done? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, look, you're more than welcome to stay here and wait for help with us if you want. Uh, and here's your reward. You earned it. Did you find the plane? Stay strong, Linda. That's it. Where the hell did I put that? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe there's something in here. Oh. 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 
Everything is so fucked up. And these half-dead assholes, they're fucking annoying. Only one thing left to do. Get as fucked up as possible and party like it's the end of the world. No, please wait! I'm here from Russia with my fucking boyfriend who fucking left me here. What's in here? Sent you to find me? I can't believe that crazy bitch sent someone to find me. The whole world's going to hell, and the last person I want to be with is that goddamn wife of mine. Look, take the money and whatever else you want. It's no use to me anymore. And tell her... Tell her I'm dead. Believe me. It's for the best. Everything is so fucked up. I can't up. find her. And, these half and I'm afraid to go out there. They're fucking annoying. I can't. Maybe she went back to her bungalow. It was, um, Only number 15. Or maybe she's at her uncle's bungalow on number like two in the Golden world. District. Please, could you see if she's there? I'm gonna try. I'm here from Russia with my Thank you. Who fucking Can you make sure she's in a safe place and out of danger? 
I need more champagne. I fucking love champagne. Can you find some for me? You find me champagne, and I'll give you whatever I have. Whatever you want. Ami. You like sweaty? Okay, baby, we're going to party. Now find me some champagne, and not the cheap shit. Oh! <laughs> 
Let's hope there's something useful. To find anything? Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! My muscles are. Oh, thank God! 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 I can't lie. Teddy says hello. Can you find Jenny? If you see her, tell her not to worry, because Teddy is with me, and he will protect me. You find anything? I heard this skirt. Which came from outer space. Poor son of a bitch, I thought he'd make it. Guess I was wrong. Thanks anyway, I appreciate the help. Came down on a goddamn meteor. I heard this scourge came from out of space.
I need champagne. Oh, oh, oh. Anne! Oh, 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 thank you so You're much. You're making me dizzy. Here, it's not much, but it's all I have. <laughs> Where's my champagne? I want to fucking drink till I fucking drop. Let's open this up.
Whoa! 
will need to find a new weapon soon. Passengers, if they're alive, they'll need our help. Cinemoy's boys aren't doing a damn thing to prepare. Not like we are. Here, take this. Just a token. Out here. Give me a sec to open it.
What, you want gas? Sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. You know, maybe there's another way in. See, try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. Yo, know, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. It's all good.
Hurry it up. These fuck. Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out, though. You need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails, if you catch my drift. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. You know, there's a better way to kill those things. I heard this skirt. came from outer space. Came down on a goddamn meteor. You want good. I'm good. 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 You know, there's a better way to kill those things. Don't know what we would have done without you, mate. Got a moment to talk. I got the radio going, but I'm not hearing anything. Either this guy is farther away than I thought, or the monsoon's messing with the transmission. This may take a while, but don't worry. I have something for you to do in the meantime. We're running very low on food and water. Think you can find some? How can I say no? Okay then, don't bother with the hotel. With the power out, it's way too dangerous in there. Check the bars by the swimming pools. Bring everything you can find. Anything at all. Okay? In the meantime, I'll keep trying to reach this guy.
Fuck.
Let's see what we got. You want good. You know, there's a better way to kill those things. That's all there was? Oh, bloody hell, that won't do. We need to find more. There are two petrol stations in the area, right? One by the lighthouse, and one by the tunnel to the city. There might be some food and drinks there. I need you to go and bring everything you can find. Yeah. You might need a car to get it all back. Look for one at the station.
What's in here? We were driving to the lifeguard tower when something jumped in front of the car. John lost control and we crashed. He's still there, trapped inside the car. You have to help me get him out, please. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. Quickly, over here. Okay. Here, take what you need out of the trunk. Whatever you want.
closer. Found some wheels, but, uh, damn, something's wrong with the engine, because I didn't get very fucking far. I knew I had to get inside somewhere fast, and came up on this place, but, phew, it's locked up tight in a nun's asshole. Could you see if there's another way in? I'm sure there's all kind of crap we might find useful in there. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll wait here by the front. Watch yourselves. Who knows what you'll find in there? Sure don't smell too pretty. I wondered what the hell happened to you. I guess it wasn't the dead I smelled, but just the damp and mildew. Name's Harlan. I'm an airline pilot, and I was staying at the hotel. I was on my way to the airport, and this is as far as I got. So for now, the shack will have to do. I got food, I got water, but the... Only electricity comes from a gas-powered generator. I need more gas, and otherwise I'm gonna be sitting my ass in the dark. Eventually the situation will settle, but till then, you think you could help me out? I'm here. Now down the hill is a gas station. You bring me two cans of gas, and I'll pay you for it.
I'll wait right here. I ain't going nowhere. I go myself, but, uh... Cool beans. They should keep the lights on for quite a while. Here, take some cash. <laughs> Ain't doing me any good here anyway. One of the best ways to take out one of them infected freaks is to set the some bitch on fire. They turn into crispy critters and that is fucking it for them. I can make a couple Molotovs for you with the gasoline you brought me. Uh, you can take out a couple of those bastards at once. All I need are some empty bottles. And if there's whiskey in them, hell, that's even better. I can do that. Bring me a couple bottles of whiskey or grain alcohol or anything like that and I'll fix you right up. Get me a couple bottles of... Let's open this up.
what we got here. Never let you down.
Thanks, mate. I was losing hope. It's just what I was hoping for. I've tried every frequency I can and nothing, mate. Silence. No trace of that guy who said he could help us. Dominic's trying to boost the transmitter, but who knows how long that'll take. Meanwhile, everything you bring disappears in a flash. We're almost down to nothing. I was afraid to even think about it, but I don't think we have a choice. I need you to go look for supplies in the town. Can you do this for us? Now, ah, okay, what the hell? The tunnel leading to the town is blocked. And those things are everywhere. But I have a plan. There's a truck we can use to punch through. I saw some blokes pull an 18-wheeler with a broken axle out of a ditch where they once. If anything can get through the tunnel, it's that rig. Guaranteed. Now get to the parking garage and bring back that truck. Once you do that, then we'll worry about the rest. I heard this sc urge came from out of space.
Anything good in there? Let's hope there's something useful. Oh! <laughs> 
Can't hurt to take a look. Let's open this up. Hey! Who are you? What are you doing here? I can see you through the cameras, friend. I'm with security. Name's Dave.
see what we got here. Right here! Good on ya. You made it this far. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go. The security system has locked the doors. Now, I can still help you get through to the parking lot. But first, you gotta promise me something. My partner Ken was trying to make his way here when he ran into a mob of those. those things. If you find Ken, I'll tell you how to get to the parking garage, right? What's in here?
Let's hope there's something useful.
Maybe there's something in here.
Up the stairs! Okay. Kit, I need something for the pain. Otherwise, I ain't gonna fucking make it. Please, give me something. Yeah, there, uh, there was a first aid kit with, uh, with morphine in the medical room. If you, uh, you can find it. <laughs> Hurry. Pass up anything useful.
that's better. But I need more. <laughs> Please. I just... I just wanted... just wanted to see it, Mum. I just wanted to see the puppy. I'm so sorry. I made you mad, Mum. I just... Don't be mad. Mom, don't be mad at me. I just... Just... See what we got here. Authorities, but uh, yeah, I'm afraid they wouldn't believe us. Like 70 year old woman attacked me and forced me to kill her. <sighs> uh, there, there seems to be some sort of a uh, traffic accident. Uh, man, it is even more chaotic than usual out there today. Uh, uh, excuse me, driver. I, any idea what's going on? I mean, wh why are all those people? Uh, you know, uh, I got an idea. Why don't we? Why don't we turn around? It looks like <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, we might be in the middle of a uh, terrorist attack here. Uh, people are running in panic, They're covered, covered in blood. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> Clear the corridor. Just be bloody careful. It's a shitload of fuckers in there. 
And I ain't opening the next door till you kill all of them. That one was quick as hell. Was being the operant word there. Looks like that's all of them then. Okay then, get ready. I'm unlocking the door. Listen, the hotel security system is fraud. Some of the security cams are deactivated, and some of the key corridors have been blocked, including the one to the parking garage. Needs to be rebooted. Luckily, you can reset it manually in a server room. But first, you gotta get past those bloody psychos. I used to work with those poor bastards. Jesus Christ. Rebuilding it isn't difficult, but it does take some time. Follow the on-screen instructions and there shouldn't be a problem. Watch your back, though. Who knows who uh, and what is in there? Let's see what we got. Shame.
You bloody made it? Good. The door to the parking lot is unlocked, and a large part of the system is up and running again. I'm just worried about the power in the parking lot. That's what I'm talking about.
I won't pass up anything useful. I heard this skirt. came from outer space. say so, but I was afraid it might not be there. We heard somebody on the radio talking about a chopper going down. From what they said, the crash site's pretty close by. Maybe you can check it out. Uh-huh. Look for survivors first, and then see if there's anything in the wreckage worth saving. You want a good, 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 good. You know.
What's in here? I need Ooh, new life. Ooh, champagne, champagne, give it to me, baby. New life. <laughs> Ooh, new life. Let's see what we got. I need champagne. <laughs> Stop spinning. You're making me
fortunate you came along. My name is Nikolai. As you can see, this piece of shit helicopter that was supposed to get me off this fucking island crashed. Figures, it wasn't Russian. We need to get out of here, my friends. Soon this place will be swarming with those things. Before we crashed, I saw a bunker by the beach. Once inside, it would be a great place for us to hide. Very defensible. Unfortunately, it's surrounded by those infected freaks. If you can get us to the bunker, I guarantee I will get you off this goddamn island. We should keep moving. We should keep moving. Kill them. Fortunate you came along. My name is Nikolai. As you can see, this piece of shit. We need to get out before we crash. Can you move any faster? Can you move any faster? Kill them! Can you move any faster? Spasibo, my friends. Here's a little something for your trouble. Let's open this up. The helicopter crash was unfortunate. It is time we begin working on plan B. Come. Normally I would have called my comrades right after the crash to have them pick me up within a few hours, but... My satellite phone was also unfortunately destroyed. I need you to go into the city, find my restaurant, Cafe Kiev, and tell Sergei there to give you a satellite phone. Bring it to me, 
And we will be off this piece of shit island in no time. Interested? I'm here. Good, good. Give him this ring. He'll know you came from me. Now go. Any luck with the phone? <sighs> Every little bit helps us hang on a little longer. truck, but we need to turn it into a bloody tank. We need to reinforce it and make it unstoppable. You up for that? Let's do it. Good. There's a workshop not far from the lighthouse. You'll find what you need there. You know how to weld? Let's just pray the mechanic's still alive then. We'll need to find somebody else. Thank <sighs> you. 
Oh. Ah, goddamn. Feeling strong. Someone else is alive on this island? They can't help what they are. They sick in the head. I showed some compassion. I got bit. By tomorrow, I'll, I'll be one of them. Got maybe six hours left. Probably less. But, until then, I can still do some good, right? What do you want this thing to be? A rolling fortress? A, a homemade tank? Uh, I can add some armor or whatever. You want me to give it a try? I'm a try. Now you're talking. Make it so those bastards don't interfere. And I'll pimp your ride. Damn straight. I'm done. It'll have to do. Hey, there's one more thing. Come on, 
young daughter can't stay here. What? Soon I won't be in my right mind. I don't want to hurt her. We'll take her to the lifeguard. He can't protect her. Not like you can. I want you to take her. Uh, sorry, Bubba. No way. Hey, is this what you need? Then give me what I need. What are you saying, Dad? I'm not going anywhere. No, honey, honey, listen to me. You have to, honey. There's nothing for you here now. I'm not leaving you. Look, look at me. Look at me. I love you. And this is how I want you to remember me. You promised me you'll take care of her. She'll come with us. Dad, no! Dad! You go on now. And don't you lose hope. Live your life. I love you. Mom always wanted to come back here, but she never got the chance. We settled here after her death. The island helped him forget, and he poured his heart and soul into it. This is where my heart is, too. So, if we're supposed to help someone, let's just do it. Yeah, okay. All set? Let's go. I say we check out the church first. Anyone still alive would probably go there. I would. There. Anything good in here? Oh. 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 